In late May of 1937, Jean Harlow complained of feeling unwell while on the set of Saratoga, her movie with Clark Gable. Although nauseated and exhausted, Jean insisted on continuing the movie until she collapsed on set. Over the next few days, the famous Golden Age Hollywood actress was misdiagnosed with the flu or a similar disease, which ultimately contributed to the tragic circumstances surrounding her death. It was later revealed that Jean was actually suffering from acute kidney failure, brought on by uremic poisoning, which occurs when the kidneys can no longer filter toxins from the blood. At the time, there was little understanding of kidney disease and limited treatment options. By the time doctors correctly diagnosed her condition, it was too late. Jean died on June 7, 1937, at the age of 26. Her death shocked Hollywood and her fans, and it was later speculated that a childhood bout of scarlet fever, or poor medical care throughout her life, might have contributed to the deterioration of her kidneys. Over the decades, there have been a few attempts to explain Jean's death. One of them is that her mother, a devout Christian scientist, refused to provide medical care to her daughter when she was young, which contributed to Jean's chronic disease. Another theory that emerged years later suggests that the use of peroxide, ammonia, chloride, and lux flakes could have contributed to her kidney damage. Among those who deeply grieved Jean's death was famous actor William Powell. This was the man Jean was seriously in love with in the last few years of her life. The two stars began a romantic relationship in the mid-1930s, after they met while working in Hollywood, and their relationship was widely known and highly publicized. Though William was 19 years older than Jean, they were reportedly very happy together. At the time of Jean's death in 1937, William and Jean were said to be seriously considering marriage, although some reports suggest that William was hesitant due to his two previous failed marriages. Regardless, he was devoted to Jean, and her death devastated him. He reportedly paid for much of her funeral expenses and grieved privately for a long time afterward. <laughs>